Good morning, students. We are in Chapter Three, Advanced Features of a Watt Processor. And we are learning on MS Office Word 2007. So, all the features of MS Office Word 2007. May not be same as in your book. Today we are going to learn the text effects. I'm showing you some text effects. At first, we will go on Insert tab. I'm clicking on Insert tab. You can see the tabs here. We will click on Insert tab. Here we can see the groups that are pages, tables, illustrations, links, header and footer, text, and symbols. We will choose text group and we'll click on the drop down arrow of Word Art. Many words are here. I'm choosing one. Here I will type the text. I'm typing Oxalian. From here you can choose the font style. Many font styles are here. You can choose any one of the font style. You can increase or decrease your font size. I'm increasing my font size as 44. You can make your text or font bold. And you can also make it italic. Choose your desired options and then press OK. Your text is here. You can increase or decrease the size of your text by dragging the notes. These small blue square boxes are called notes. Now we can format our text too. Here you can see a new tab has open. I'm clicking outside to deselect this auxilium. See the format tab has gaib. I'm clicking on auxilium again. Here comes the format tab. In format tab we can see many groups as text, water styles, shadow effects, 3D effects, arrange and the last one is size. We will apply water styles on our text. From here we can change the style of our water. Here is shift fill. I'm clicking on the drop down arrow. We can change the color of our text. Clicking on green color. See the result in the similar way. We can put gradient color choose any of the gradient color. I'm choosing this one. From here 
you can put texture and we can also put pictures I'm choosing the tulips insert here is the result the pictures are inside our text the next option is shape outline click on the drop down arrow and change the shape outline color I'm choosing the red one and see the result the outline of the text is red now we can change the weight of the outline by choosing the width of the line I'm choosing this one look now and we can change the style of the outline if you will choose this one look next option is change shape click on the drop down arrow many shapes are here I'm choosing this one look at the style then we will apply shadow effects the first one is no shadow effect then drop shadows are here then perspective sh shadow and additional shadow style I'm choosing this one a shadow effect is coming at the back side of the font you can change the color of your shadow we're choosing from here see the result so students this much for today if you have computer system at your home you can practice this Take care and thank you.